This is an actual, real, unfiltered, raw day in the life of what it's like to be in a split household. Custody things, real life. This is how it goes. Always call me out, always, always, because I would say, Good okay, beautiful morning. Well, we, have, we have a really busy day. <laughs> we have a lot to do. First things first, we are headed off to a dentist appointment. Four of the kids have a dentist appointment at the same time. The only one who's not doing it right now is Addie, because I feel like she needs her own appointment time where I could just take her and focus on her, because I'm worried about that. But you guys know how I feel about dentist appointments and teeth. Like, every six months, I go to the dentist. He went to the dentist for the first time in a long time, right? Since me, when me and him got together, I like convinced him to go to the dentist. <laughs> I'm crazy about it, I don't know. So anyway, Kyson, Kaden, Lilia, and Landon, they're all somewhere back there. They have a like, dentist appointment just checkup and cleaning today, and I'm very interested to see what they say, because they're, they're at the age right now where their teeth are moving and growing and falling out so much, and I'm just waiting for the day when they say, so-and-so needs braces, let's schedule it, Like, because I know that all or most of them are gonna need braces. Kyson, smile. I don't know, Kyson's teeth are really straight. He might be okay, I'm not sure, but well, it is really, he's only eight. But like, Caden, for sure, his teeth are super crowded. And then, um, Lilia, you got, again? <laughs> what did he say? Uh, Whoa, oh my God, is that everybody's letters from Santa? Let me see it. Oh my gosh. You guys pause this video and show your kids. If you have kids, these are all of their letters to Santa. Today is Friday, so we're going to the dentist appointment first, and then this is the kid's dad's weekend. So we're gonna make various drop-offs at people's houses, too. We gotta drop off. Oh, and, the, and they have a haircut scheduled. We have so much to do. Today, Lilia was like, what does Addie do when we go to our dad's house? Kyson, you still wanna go first? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if they're gonna allow us all to come in. Should I get, ask them before we all? Like, should you just take a couple least, minutes? Yeah, at least check in. Yeah, let me check in. Kyson. Okay, Kyson, come with me, because you're going to go first. Landon, you can come too. I want you to watch Kyson do it, so you're not scared. Me, can I come? Huh? Oh, you want to watch? You guys need a mask, at least for the beginning. Do I have to go in, though? Eventually, yeah. Grew with you. Everything else grew all around it except for the hair. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Look at all those teeth, dude. That's like, can you imagine crazy, you? Right? Yeah. You have that many teeth right now. Isn't that wild? That's a lot, huh? He's How much is it? That's what that's called. That is crazy. crazy. So, what do you do? <laughs> We're eight years old. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, it usually means they won't come out on their own. That is currently what's happening. Oh, yeah, that's good. Wait, this one. Does it, it's got to affect your jaw at some point yes. if you don't do anything, yes, right? Yeah, because the jaw doesn't grow in that area this is when they're 24. Like your bite, like everything. This is a 24 year old. Oh my God. So I'm assuming we need them taken out. Yeah, we need them wait, taken wait. out. But that, see, see, okay, that, that's up for debate. That's okay. up for debate. Yeah. Up for debate. I don't want yeah. to take them out today. No, no we're not doing not anything today. today. Not today, not today. We're not, we're not ready. Let me talk to the surgeon we have here. Okay. And then I'll let him, because I mean, he's still a little bit early. Okay. You know, so I mean like, yeah. It's not, it's, not, it's definitely not too late, but I'm worried about it that it's too early. <laughs> Look at that, you guys get a special hat. <laughs> How special. Two and a half out of four done so far. We come in and it's day and we leave and it's night. All right, that was actually a lot smoother than I thought it was gonna be. No cavities for any of them. The only thing is that, um, two things. Landon needs a spacer put in, he's had two spacers before and they keep popping off so they're gonna put a different spacer in. And then the other thing is that Kaisen has something that I have never heard about before. I've never heard about this, but I think I'll wait to talk about it. 
because I don't I don't want to freak them out. Um, okay. So actually, I'll update a little bit. Do you guys have your masks still? Grab your masks. Stop number two. Brandon. The kids are going to get their hair trimmed really quickly. All of the errands that we have to do are all in the same area. It's all in Modesto, which is where we used to live. So it's like an hour away. So we're just doing everything while we're here. Dentist appointment, haircut, and then drop off. So the boys are going out now. Do you want me to just text you, Chris? Yeah. So Chris is going to take just the boys in. And I think what I'm going to do right now is possibly just get... Are you hungry, Lilia? Yeah. You're hungry, Addy? Can yeah. I get Taco Bell? Let me see if your dad's making dinner or something because I think I'll just take you over to your dad's house and then I can even get you something on the way. Well, mommy, what yeah. am I gonna eat? I'll get you food, baby girl. Okay. You're the one that I have to feed regardless because you're not going to your dad's. <laughs> this is actually the first time in a long time that we have made this like set of errands because well, the boys mommy. haven't been to their dads in a, like a while. Hi, are you guys making dinner or anything? Uh, I don't know. Okay. We're um, getting the boys haircuts right now, which I might just bring Lilia all the way over to you really Look quickly um, But she's hungry, so I don't know if I should grab her food on the way or if you guys are doing something Okay, I'll just grab she wants Taco Bell. I'll just grab her Taco Bell, but I'm gonna bring her your way real quick, okay? Right, okay, it'll be like probably 20 minutes to get all the way over there For sure. Okay, bye. Okay. Does that sound like a plan for you? Taco Bell? Yeah, Taco Bell and then go to your dad's? Yes. Okay. Do you want Taco Bell? Do you want tacos? My two girls love Taco Bell. It's like their biggest treat. I'm a hot hot blast. A hot blast. She says she was a hot hot blast. Okay, let me switch to the driver's seat. What's the way? Oh. And then I'm gonna text Chris. This day has just been like all mumble jumbled. Like I edited all morning, of course. And then the second I was done, we had to leave to the dentist appointment. And then it's just like chaos, chaos, chaos. I'm going to take the girls to get Taco Bell and then take Lilia to her dad's house. By the time I'm done, you guys should be about done. Okay, how are we on gas? We're good. Okay, let's go, mommy. Let's go, love. Let me grab my camera before. Let's go, let's go. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let me figure out where I'm going. Food, check. Not necessarily healthy food, but we're fed and we're alive, so. All right, stop number one. Hey, Delivery. Hey. Hi, good, I have Addie in the car. Bye, friends, family, goodbye. Yeah, they're oh, they're filming. <laughs> Tell me I said hi. Bye. What'd you forget? It's a good thing I didn't pull away yet. <laughs> you got lucky, girlfriend. Yeah. All right, love you. Love you See you Sunday. I need to feed, we still need to feed the kids, pick them up, take them to the opposite side of town. Like Gabe and Drake live on the complete opposite sides of the town, of course. Like literally total opposites. So I mean, literally like probably 25 or 30 minutes away from each other. But Addie is getting super antsy. I think I'm gonna drop her off with Roselyn because it's right in between with her food really quick because she's got tacos from Taco Bell. So like super messy. So I'm actually gonna take her to Roselyn's house, drop her off there, go back, pick up Chris, pick up the boys, get the boys food and then take the boys over there and then come back. Literally her house is in the perfect spot to where it's right in between everything and on the way back home. So shout out Roslyn, family at heart for picking the perfect spot. It's actually, she lives right around the corner from where we used to live. If you've been watching for a while, you know that. She literally lives like around the corner from our old house. Okay, turn this off. We've still got another hour of errands to run. Are you excited, Addie? Yay. You've been a trooper. She had to sit through an hour long drive for dentist appointments, which none of, she, none of which she was a part of, but I should turn that off. I'm sorry. Sorry if you guys can't see me. And you're actually not allowed to wait in the lobby, so she had to wait in the car for another like hour and a half until all the dentist appointments were done. Then we had to go all the way to another part of town to do the haircuts. Back on the other side of town to drop off Lilia. So we've literally been in the car. We left the house at like 2.30, it's six o'clock, and she's been sitting for that long. So we're gonna drop her off with Rosalind and Silas so she can have a little dinner break. Ugh, what a day. What a flipping day. You're gonna be here. They're getting their haircuts right now. Probably like 30 minutes or so. Oh, okay. I don't know if Keaton wants to go, but I told him he had to talk to you about it. Why now? He hasn't been over here in like three months. That's what I said. So I told him he can talk to you about it. But why did, what, what's his reasoning for not wanting to go? I, I, I have no idea. Kyson was trying to talk him into going. I didn't ask him. I didn't get into it. I just told him that they were going over there and he said no I don't want to go and I didn't I just left it at that so I, I mean I don't want to force him to stay here like I'm really trying to be like more involved and, like kind of all my time mm -hmm. but, I mean I haven't had like I haven't seen him in like damn near almost three months because he, he hasn't he didn't come like the last two or three times yeah I know 
I'll tell him. I'll see him right now and then I'll just, well, I, I'll be there and like, they're done. So I'm just gonna go, they're like on, I'm on Cisco and Pillow Nail. So. I'll be out before you get there. Oh my goodness. This is an actual, real, unfiltered, raw day in the life of what it's like to be um, in a split household, like where there's custody things and real life. <laughs> this is how it goes. My boy! Now, how's it now? Huh? Are we going to Drake's? Yes. You want, you're going, right? Are you taken care of over there? Look at my sweet friends, you guys. You guys are the best. We came to pick up Addie, and they got Chinese. We got you vegetarian chow mein too. You're so it's sweet. Just I'm just so tired. But Chris, I, ha I didn't even tell. Chris was in the car for the dentist appointment. And what I was gonna say earlier is that Kyson has four teeth. She told me what it was, and I can't remember what it is. Four teeth that are baby teeth that are stuck and won't come out. And they have to pull all four of them. Where? I love how she's reacting more than Where? my husband. It's his molars in the back. She said that they're fine. It's perfectly fine. And um, she said that right now we're going to wait it out for another six months. But it's trippy. I'll have to, um, I'm going to go back on the footage and show you. But um, his teeth, oh wait, no, I took a picture have of it. Did you wait till I'm done eating? <laughs> no, it's not gross. It's just bone. This is his um, x-rays. I can see it. Yeah, it's true. So this tooth, this tooth. When you get your baby teeth in, it's like, okay, here's my tooth size, right? And I'm like, a baby. My jaw grows with my face. Like, everything is growing. The t normally, when that happens, the tooth eventually disconnects and it'll fall out. But his didn't just, didn't disconnect. It's fused to his jawbone. Oh, wow. I think that's what she said. Here's a normal tooth. So his tooth, this is how it was when it came in. His jaw grew and grew and grew and grew. Normally your, your tooth falls out. It didn't, it got stuck and now it looks almost flush with his gums and it's stuck. But you can physically see it, not You can physically you can see, see it. it. Today? Well, now, Today I saw it. Well, well now that they back. pointed out, you're gonna know what you're looking mm -hmm. at. And they said it's harder to brush, obviously, because all of, your, all of his teeth are this height. Right. And there's one that's like this, and then they go back to so like that. And it's stuck on all four, and she said it's not even, it's, because I said, what caused that? And she said, nothing, not genetics, nothing. It just happens sometimes. And it happened to him in all four of his locations. So if anyone's heard of this, what did you do? Oh my God. She said, we're going to wait it out for another six months and then see. I think I've seen that before in Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings? <laughs> oh, babe, girl, are you tired? You a long day, huh? <laughs> we home. She fell asleep on the way home. Hey, <laughs> sweet girl. 